Welcome to Elton CKD Close Quarters Weapons and Non-Weapons. These video guides are designed to show you each move and the technique. Please practice the move, get it fluent so it's second nature and then concentrate on building up the speed. Irudan Goal, take down from the floor. Now we're not going to stand up because we'll be out of camera view so bear with us just for a second here. I often preach that we are not a grappling or wrestling self-defence system. We are very much vertical, on our feet, in control. But of course there are times when you are taken to the ground or you may trip or pushed over. In which case, as I always lecture, get to your feet as quick as you possibly can and do what you know. However, we know in the real world this isn't always possible. You're taken to the ground and immediately you're on the ground Somebody's kicking viciously into your body, your ribs are at risk, your head, your skull's at risk, you could suffer brain damage. It's an extremely critical, dangerous position to be in. But you can't get to your feet because you're constantly being kicked. So I recommend two methods of downing your attacker, and we show you number one first. Uh, Chris is going to play the part of the person on the floor being kicked and I'll talk you through very slowly two very simple basic moves that are guaranteed success. To give you some confidence in this, I've been practicing this, this manoeuvre with 16, 17 stone bodybuilders and each and every one have gone down. They've gone down because they didn't know what I was about to do. Once they'd seen it, they thought of all sorts of ways to stop themselves going down <laughs> by stepping back and all, all sorts of things. But the important thing is that when it was first done on them, everyone went down. So you'll be in a fight situation where the person's kicking you, it will work. So I'm going to stand up and Chris is going to lie down with his feet towards the camera. Now he's on the floor here and I'm kicking him and I'm stamping on him and I'm kicking on him. An extremely dangerous place for him to be. At his very first opportunity, he's going to grab the nearest ankle to him. Now he's grabbing the ankle, not grabbing onto the trouser leg or the sock or the shoe. He's grabbing the rear of the ankle by the Achilles tendon. He's then going to forearm above my knee with the other arm, using his leg as an aid. This is the position that you can see is in here. Now, in practice, this is not a push. It's a combination of power block and a push. So he's going to go back down to the floor, and from that position, he's going to, with speed and high velocity, and using his leg to push off, ram into my leg with that forearm smash. Fast. Boom! <coughs> Now I'm probably out of camera shot, I'm hoping that Chris isn't. There was no way I could have stayed standing. It would be impossible for me to stay standing. And now I'm going to ask him to repeat that, but slowly. So I'm kicking, I'm kicking. He's waiting for the, my left leg to become available. He traps the ankle, and did you see? He's using his leg for power, he's pushed off his hips, this is rammed into above my knee, not below my knee. It won't work. Above my knee. He's not jerking my left ankle forward. He's just locking it. It's probably locked under his body. That's great. He's just stopping it moving. He's not pulling it towards him. He's anchoring it. This is what's doing all the work here. And he slams it into my thigh muscle and down I go. And at this point, he can do whatever he wants, a punch to the groin, or whatever he wants to make his escape. Now that's method number one. Method number two, which you may prefer, and you can do whichever one you want to do in testing, I don't mind. They're, they're both good. The scenario is the same. Chris is laid out, I'm kicking, I'm kicking. And this time he's going to go for a double leg takedown. In any way he can, he'll claw his way up to me and you'll notice that he's, he's actually gripping my knees together. I'll ask Chris to lie down again because this is really critical. 
If he grabs my knees and tries to push, I'm stable. He needs to squeeze my knees together with both his arms around the back of the knees and his head here. It's the knees being squeezed together which loses the balance. Apart, I've got plenty of balance and I can retaliate. Together, I've got no balance. So, I'm kicking, I'm punching, he squeezes my knees together. Now my balance is compromised already. His head is pressed in towards me and he's about to go down. A little word of warning, I knew he went then. A little word of warning. Do not face the person. The reason for that is because there's nothing to stop me retaliating in whatever I have. The eyes are exposed to me, the, the forehead is exposed to me, and he's in awful trouble for a neck turn. It all goes wrong. His head has to be to one side and tucked in tight. And now, over we go. And then he makes his escape, punches me, makes his escape, end of problem. Take down from the floor. Thank you, Chris.